to kick off here in about five minutes or so. Teams are finalizing their pregame preparations. Fever coaches seem to be giving their players a last bit of encouragement, last bit of pep talk, if you will. I hope everyone enjoyed their 4th of July holiday. It's a hot one out here in Pittman. Sorry about that, Ulysses. Oh, it's all right, Joe. Here with me is Joe. Joe Sweeney here. We're uh, just working out the kinks, ladies and work, gentlemen. Working out the final kinks so we can provide you some smooth sailing the rest of the way. Check one, two. All right, we got some volume there. We're good. We're broadcasting. Joe is in the house. All right, got to get to uh, the camera here. All right. Don't forget, Ulysses, today's game is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, there it is. Is that product Open placement? for fun. And blue painter's tape. <laughs> <laughs> you need 3M. Blue painter's tape. You're welcome, 3M. That's right. They only bought one spot. That yeah, was the spot that, that they bought. that was it. And blue umbrellas. Blue umbrellas, ladies and gentlemen. No, but in all seriousness, here at Total Turf, we are heavily influenced by Virtua, Virtua Sports Medicine, fine, fine medic medicinal practices. with us ladies and gentlemen lost the camera feed we will get it back there we go We're back on yep here come the referees as they come out into the field ready to kick off Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again. Those of you just joining us now for this WPSL game between your Chesapeake Charge and your Philadelphia Fever. Philadelphia Fever sporting the orange tops with the orange shorts. Chesapeake donning the white tops with the blue shorts. It's a hot one here today at Total Turf Experience, but these players are in good, good physical shape and should be no problem for them. Uh oh. Did I lose the feet again? Yeah, yep. good. Now we lost the feet. Oh, no. Came back. Yeah, sometimes it gets like a little squirrely. Just maybe just have to turn this a little bit. Okay. And that's your volume too here. My volume. Okay. 
No, I'm good with my volume. Just gonna move up here a little bit. Fever was joined today by members of the Monroe Township Youth Travel Team. The girls just participated in the ASF camp this week, and now they are here with the Fever players hanging out. I believe they will also be our ball runners for tonight. Ulysses, this is the final home game, correct? That is correct, Joe. Today's the final home game for both Philadelphia Fever and the Philadelphia Fury. Remember, you're channel one, I'm channel I'm two. I'm one? Okay, cool. And here come some of the Monroe girls. Just about ready for kickoff here. Total turf experience. Looks like the Philadelphia Fever will start with the ball. They will be traveling from the left side of your screen to the right. To take the kickoff is Katie Lindacker, number three, and number ten, Carly DiGiovanni. Taps it back and plays it forward. Possession given away. Now Settled here, working the ball up the field by the charge. Plays the ball into midfield and back out to the center back. And again to the center midi. Carries the ball up the field, plays it into her center forward. Good ball in over the top and collected by Fever Keeper. Punt there by number one, Jillian Kaksuda. Center back plays it into the center midi, looking for an option, doesn't have it. Cuts the other way, plays it in. Back to the center midi, number 24, Jillian Boyle. Out wide, number 11, Courtney Moore. Fever Kara Hinkleman plays the ball, clears it only up to the 18, comes into the middle, drops back, and through ball into number three, Marissa Craigie, looking to take the ball down the end line, but is unsuccessful and wins a corner kick though for her team. This is the uh, winds are kicking up now. It's cooling down a little bit, but it's still got at least triple digits down there on the turf. Oh, absolutely. Those black beads also make it incredibly hot on your feet. That hot rubber. Most of these players are wearing either leather or synthetic leather on their feet as well. Does not bode well. So the first corner kick here for the Chesapeake Charge will be taken by number five, Kaylin Dudley. Dudley s signals for the runs. Ball played into the middle and cleared out by Maddie Gregory. Carried out by Kara Hinkleman. Played back over to Corey. And oh, it's a breakaway here for Katie Lindacker. Oh, good defending. Ball played into number 12, Alexis Pryor Brown. Pryor Brown. Oh, Pryor Brown in on goal. Oh, Friar Brown scores. First goal of the match today. Making it 1-0 in favor of the charge. Lucy's that goal is brought to you by Freezy Pop. Nothing beats Freezy Pop on a hot day like today. Absolutely, Joe. I could use a Freezy Pop right about now. 
We'll get somebody from the Total Turf staff on that. <laughs> a couple freezy pops to the broadcast booth. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> ball played back to number. Oh, ball played into the middle. Drops back to number 17, Steph Liddy. Plays it out wide to number seven. Kalen Pizarro wearing the number seven today. You didn't have any problem with that score there, updating the score, did you? Nope. Good. Played into number 20 here, Riley Barger. Barger tries to find a teammate up top. To no avail. Gets the ball back and great slide tackle there by number seven. Katie Williams treks back. Oh, has a shot and great save there by the Fever keeper Jillian Kaksuda. Rolls it out wide to her left back. Plays it back to her center back. Oh, lost possession there. But all right, it's going to be a Fever six kick. Got to get it out of the zone there. Yeah, absolutely. Can't play with it back there. Jillian Kaksura runs up, takes the kick. Just about to midfield, flicked on by teammate number 19, Amanda Pankrot. Hey, Ulysses, how many more uh, games on the Fever schedule? I believe the Fever have two away games remaining, but this, this is their last home game. So it'd be nice if they could come away with some points today before they have to hit on on the road. And who are they playing? I actually I have, will have to look that up for you. Good track back by Pizarro. Oh, and Steph Liddy. Shot in, but goes wide for a six kick shot by Pryor Brown. Contested by number 19, Amanda Pankrot. Cook sort of runs up for the kick. Again, gets to the 50, where it is settled by. The charge played up to Pryor Brown. Cut back by number 20, Berger. Back to captain number 10, Kine. I apologize if I'm butchering any of these names. <laughs> Don't worry, we can edit that in post. <laughs> Pryor Brown plays it out wide. Ball played in the middle, but collected by the Fever. And cleared out to safety to Hinkleman. 50-50 ball there. Chargers trying to establish possession in the Fever half of the field, but the Fever doing a great job and not allowing them to string more than a couple passes together. Throw in played down the flank. Good tussle there, nice physical soccer along the sideline. And kicked out for a charge throw in. Oh, nope, so apologize, stayed in. Ball played back to the center back. Played into Pryor Brown. Good touch, played in back to the middle here. Oh, good, sh well done by Matty Gregory. Pizarro with the ball. Plays the ball in to Lindacker. Oh, and you can hear that. Uh, that sound you hear there is the wind picking up, Joe, as you can, as you mentioned earlier. Ball played in the middle, but cleared away by number 14, Morgan Durham. Ball controlled by the charge, bringing it up the field. Bizarro steps up, attempts to make a tackle. Steph Liddy does a great job making the tackle there. Charge throwing. Ball 
throw it into Pryor Brown. Back to number five, Dudley. Dudley with the throw. Throws it in, well done by Pizarro, forcing the charge to retreat. Fight it back into the middle there. Intercepted by the Fever center back. Good ball there by Pizarro into Di Giovanni. A day like this, Just Ulysses, uh, with uh, the heat, definitely a factor with the game. Your a deep bench will definitely come in handy. Oh, absolutely. And it looks like both teams do have sufficient substitutes for today. Fever throw in, thrown in towards the middle, collected by a charge player, looking for an outlet, finds her right back. Fever, Fever having a hard time, man, getting it down into yeah, that zone. Yeah, they were struggling to establish possession here. Thrown in to Lindacker. Pizarro collects the ball, plays it into the middle there. Williams. Williams, nice cut back. Drops it back to Liddy. Back to Gregory. Long ball in, flicked on. Unlucky there. It was a good attempt by the Fever. Get some pressure. Collected by the Fever, played out wide to Gregory. Gregory finds Pizarro. Pizarro. Oh, unlucky there with the giveaway. Pryor Brown collects the ball out wide. Look to take Liddy on 1v1. Great job by Liddy slowing her up. Oh, just missed there, going for the near post. It was close there, Ulysses. Yeah, that was a little bit too close for comfort there for the Fever. Don't want to go down 2-0. No, absolutely. Let me get right back in this game here. Six kick here. Gets it out to about midfield, where it's collected by Hinkleman. Drops it back, finds Lindecker, who plays a nice 1-2 ball, but unfortunately it was a bit too heavy. Fever throw in. Played into Williams. Long ball looking for Lindacker. Stumbles but gets back up. 50-50 ball in the corner now. Up one by the charge player. Thrifty little turn there. Plays it back out to her outside back. Just moving the ball along their back line now until she finds Pryor Brown. Checking back for the ball. Good ball, good ball moving here by the charge. Good patient build up. Di Giovanni, good through ball there, looking for Hinkleman. Hinkleman gets to it. Has her on one v one. But runs out of real estate there. Fever like that left hand side yeah. passing. Yeah, it seems like they've been uh, they've been attacking that left flank. Have they played this team before? I believe they played them away. Oh, good win there by the Fever Williams. Hinkleman there wins the ball, plays it into the middle. Good job by Pizarro, forcing her to go in the middle with that ball, forcing a turnover. Gregory with the ball at her feet. Good ball out wide, looking for Hinkleman. Uh oh, turnover. Plays it into her center mid. Ball there intercepted by Gregory. Ball played back to Gregory. Played over to Liddy. 
Liddy looking to find Di Giovanni. Intercepted by the Charger. Now they make their way up the field into the fever end of the field. Good job by Pizarro tracking back to get that ball. Plays it into Di Giovanni. Drops it to Liddy. Liddy looking for the switch. Finds Pencrot. Pencrot finds Hinkleman out wide on the left. Oh, Hinkleman tripped up there. Free kick for the Fever. Just about the 50 yard line, or the halfway line, I should say. The soccer field's just a bit longer than 100 yards. Free kick here, played into the box. Like Fever substitutes came out with Katie Lindacker and Williams, both Katies. And they are being replaced by Ayana Davis up front. And let's see who here. Oh, free kick for the charge. Wins picking up here at Total Turf Experience. Ball played out wide to number five, Dudley. Played into Pryor Brown. Oh, shot well wide of the net. Never really troubled the Fever goalkeeper. Fever six kick here. Takes a six kick out to about the 50. Won by the charge. Played in five Dakota Sheehan. Well done by Morgan Durham. All well done. Good interception there, looking to find an outlet. Well done there by number seven, 16, Shannon Reardon. Reared again, I apologize. Fever six kick here. up to it, gives it a ride again, about the 50, 50-50 Fifty -fifty ball there, contested, and Ayana Davis is fouled by the charge. It's going to be a fever-free kick from about 45 yards, 45 yards out, I would say. Yeah, it's just about that. Just about 45, taken by number 11, Maddie Gregory. I don't think she'll quite be going direct for goal here. Let's see if she can find a teammate's head. Seven Fever players lined up on the box. Ball delivered in, flicked on to the middle, and oh, just missed. Number seven, Pizarro, just missed putting it away, tying this game up at one apiece. Oh, the ball's hanging down their end, so that's a good sign. Yeah, they're, they're making progress. The Fever managed to maintain possession in their offensive half of the field. Now they'll just look to, you know, counter and get back, uh, get some more scoring opportunities. Back line of the charge does not seem to be afraid to handle the ball. Not afraid to maintain possession until one of their forward players springs open with a run. <laughs> Very high percentage passes. Oh, through 
ball in. Safely collected by Fever goalkeeper. Goalkeeper throws it out wide, but oh, good, good fight there by number nine, number nine, number nine, Karen Thomas. Gregory clears the ball. Thomas gets out. Di Giovanni. Ball's up in the air for a, f for a few seconds there. Both teams try to control it. Pryor Brown tries to flick on to Dudley. Dudley back to Pryor Brown, but intercepted by... Oh. Ball in the corner here. Pryor Brown with the ball in the corner. Go ball in. And cleared out by the Fever goalkeeper. Well done. Reddington on the ball. Gregory, oh, the shot, and just over the bar. Good shot there by the charge player, just missing the goal. Boy, from this angle, it looked like it went in. Yeah. <laughs> Still on nothing here at Total Turf Experience. This six kick brought to you by Atlantic Soccer Factory club neutral company dedicated to training and educating the next generation of American soccer players providing team training camps clinics of all sorts check us out www.atlanticsoccerfactory.com that's www.atlanticsoccerfactory.com ball that gets put back in play here by the fever goalkeeper as the charge regained possession tell him Matt sent you <laughs> Lindacker treks back, well done. Tries to bank it off of a charge player to win a six kick, unlucky there. Lindacker again. Oh, no foul there. Good ball played in, looking to find a teammate. Well, oh, unlucky there. Fever just struggling to clear the ball right now. Good ball played in. Uh-oh. Keeper, keeper calls her teammates off. Collects it and looks to start the attack right away by throw out to Thomas. Thomas tries to muscle number 11, Matt, um, number 11, Courtney Moore off the ball. Unable to do so. Lindacker with the ball. Oh, caught in possession. Good tackle there. The Fever just looking to relieve pressure, just looking to allow their back line to breathe a little bit. Ball played into the middle here. Oh, ball played in through, but collected calmly by the fever keeper. We have an injury. Number eight, Jackie Leo. She's going to be substituted off. She'll be taking a look at by our trainer from our athletic trainer from Virtua Kim. She's replaced by Steph Liddy. Kim does a great job attending to our players, making sure that they're back on the field as soon as possible. Big punt here by the fever keeper. Looking for Ayana Davis. Heads the ball out wide to number 23. Ball and back to the middle, center back and back again to number 23. That is Jess Nadiuk, I believe. Um, again, I apologize if I butcher the, the last names.
Waffle back into play. Long ball played by number 10, Lauren Kane. Nice grab there by the coach. Yeah, that's good hands there by Coach D. Giovanni. Sign him up. Yeah, let's put him in net. We have a substitution now for the Fever, leaving the field. Number 14, Morgan Durham, being replaced by, I believe that is Katie Williams there. No, I, I apologize. It's 15, Lauren Nolte. Ball settled down, settled down by the charge, trying to find a teammate inside the box, but cleared away by the fever. Ayana Davis, pressure on the ball here. Um, that noise you hear is the wind picking up here in Pittman. Feels good. Yeah, it does feel good. Cut back by the charge, looking to get into the box. Wins herself a corner kick. Number three, Marissa Craigie. Wish we had a field thermometer. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. Don't forget to stick around for the Field of the Fury game coming up right after the Fever. I believe that starts at uh, 7 o'clock right there. That is correct. 7 o'clock kickoff. Their final home game as well. Correct. Final home stand for the Philadelphia Philadelphia teams here. Two players over there by the ball. Oh, thought a short corner was coming in. Six. Oh no, deflected. The referee says that ball was deflected by a Fever player for a charge corner kick. Again, two charge players. Travel towards the corner. Could this be a short corner? Or is she just a decoy? Just a decoy as the ball gets played into the box, looking for Pryor Brown, who gets a foot on it. Out comes Fever Keeper Jillian Texura to collect the ball. Punt there by the Fever Keeper. Ayana Davis puts pressure on the foe, on the back line there. Ball won by Lindacker. Looking for options. Good job advancing up the field. Plays it out wide. A little too wide just, there. Yeah, just, just a little bit too far ahead. Some aircrafts flying overhead right now. That's just not any aircraft, Ulysses. That's the TT corporate jet flown by our own Captain Andrew Logar. Hi oh. <laughs> flown out of Total Turf's back deck. That's right. We have a secret air. Uh, yeah, see, air secret out back. Secret hangar. No alien life forms kept here <laughs> on premise, but it is highly secretive. <laughs> Well done by number 15, Lauren Nolte, keeping that ball in play. Plays it out wide to Thomas. Back to Nolte. Nolte again. Well done by Hinkleman, getting it away from danger. Out to Moore. Williams collecting the ball here. And looks like we're going to have another substitution here. Number 16, Shannon Rarington is coming off, being replaced by, have to give me a sec till I can see the number, number 19, Amanda Pinkrock. Ball played back to the charge center back. Plays it even 
back to the other center back. Again, this charge is real patient with their build up. They're not going to force anything into something that's not open. They're going to wait patiently, play the ball through their back line until something opens up like this. Good ball played into Dudley. Dudley gets a cross in, cleared away by Liddy. Hinkleman on the ball. Oh, good physical play there. Gregory called off by the keeper. Plays the ball out wide to number five, Dakota Sheehan. Played into Pryor Brown, Liddy hot on her tail. Pryor Brown looking to get the ball into the box, cleared away by the fever. Hinkleman contests the ball, puts pressure on the ball. Long shot put over the bar. Six kick here again, Jillian Kaksudam. This six kick is brought to you by EPX2, the new year round training program brought to you by Atlantic Soccer Factory. Check us out at www.epx2.com. It's www.epx2.com. Ball played back to the center back. Charge center back, looking for a teammate there. Finds number 10, Laura Kane. Back to Kane. Finds her winger, number 28, Kelly Whitaker. Whitaker back to Kane. Back four, getting a lot of touches on the ball here in the first half. Comes advancing up the field. Pryor Brown making a run off the ball. Oh, beautiful run here. Well done by Fever. Goalkeeper coming out, collecting the ball. Now looking out wide the other way to start the offense here. Good distribution. Oh, looking for Pryor Brown there. Brown. Giovanni here on the ball, plays it out wide to Thomas. Thomas dispossessed, but gets the ball back, plays it out wide for Pizarro. Charge recollect the ball here, now center back dribbling up the field. Good ball into Pryor Brown. Oh, not quite the best first touch, but manages to get it under control. Plays it out wide again, number 28, Whitaker. Good build up here again by the charge. Well done, number 19, Amanda Pankrot. You know, Joe, it seems like although the charge are experiencing more of the ball, they're not quite able to put that final pass in. Seems like the, the fever defense bending at, uh, at times, but not quite breaking not allowing that final pass to get in behind them to get in on goal. The passes are good. They're just not finding the, the, the correct spots. They're always being uh, intercepted or... Whitaker will put, look for Pryor Brown, cleared by Gregory. Collected by number 31, Sophia Reed. Pizarro on the ball. Oh, Pizarro here, 1v1. Oh, unlucky there. Pizarro looking to find a shot, create a shot for herself. Intercepted by Hinkleman. Di Giovanni in for the 50-50 ball. Hinkleman with the ball. Gregory on the ball. 
ball. Out wide looking for Thomas. Thomas plays it back to her center back. Charge back four again in possession of the ball. Gets the ball back. Looking for number 10, Kane. Kane on the ball, plays it out wide. Well done to number 31, Reed. Reed looking for a shot. Gets one. Unable to put it on frame. Fever six kick. Another substitution there, uh, Ulysses. Have another substitution to. Thomas came off and looking to see who came on here. D. Giovanni looks like. Nope, I apologize. That is 16, Shannon Rerdigan. Finding Haynes. Movement up front there by the charge. Played out wide to Reed. Good tackle there by Hinkleman. Good save there by Maddie Gregory. Keeping the ball in play. Looking to get the ball upfield. There it is, number 16, getting right back into the action. Reared again. Kane with the ball. Finds Whitaker. Gives the ball away. And D. Giovanni looking to pressure the ball. Reared again. Ball played out wide to the charge. Looking to get the ball in. Oh, nice cut back there. Ball down by D. Giovanni getting the ball upfield and out of danger. Number 23, Jess Nadiuk on the ball. Finds Barger, Barger, dribble the ball up the field, looking for the through ball, oh, offside, says the referee. Whitaker couldn't quite time her run. Still one nothing here at Total Turf Experience. It's gotta be a few minutes left on the clock yeah, for the yep. first half. Yep, can't be much remaining. Got a substitution here for the for the charge. Coming off number three, Marissa Craigie, and it looks like is that Moore coming back on? I'm not sure. I uh, believe so. Yep, number eleven, Courtney Moore. Fever keeper runs up, puts the ball back into the play, gets the ball over the fifty. Oh, little collision there at midfield. Referee says fever foul. Ball put back into play quickly here for Whitaker into Kane. Good ball in there by Barger. Barger, good run. Good run by Barger. Just can't quite get across in here. Reared again, well done, clearing the ball away from danger for now. Good job intercepting the ball again, finding Pizarro. Oh, can the Fever counter here? Lindacker on the ball, she's got pace. Takes her on 1v1, there's that speed. Oh, good ball played in. Pizarro, oh, can't quite get there. Ball cleared away for, I believe, Joe Fever's Fever corner. Absolutely. Fever corner kick here. Nice defensive play. That saved the goal because she yeah. had that wide open. Absolutely. That would have been the equalizer there. Good 
ball played in the far post. No one there. Oh, Di Giovanni tries to get the ball down, find a shot, but unable to do so. Reared again, does a good job playing the ball back and back again to Gregory. Gregory plays it into Reared again, out wide to Liddy. Liddy finds Lindacker down the line, can't quite get there. I'll tell you something though, Ulysses, it'd be like uh, two or three nothing if it wasn't for the great goaltending here of the uh, Fever. Oh, absolutely, Joe. Especially on Brown, some of the Brown shots. Yeah, she's doing a great job of keep, keeping them in the game. Di Giovanni here on the throw. Oh, substitution here looks like. We have Ayana Davis coming in for Di Giovanni. Ball thrown in to Bizarro. Center back here, looking to find space. Moore making a run. Ball played. Oh, gets through. Whitaker gets through, but the ball is played too far in front of her and will roll past the goal line for a six kick. Good turn there. Liddy looking to play D. Oh, referee says that's a foul. Not quite sure I agree. But nonetheless, it will be a Sophia Reed free kick from about 35 yards away. We got more on the left side and the rest of the team of the charge on the right. Probably looking for a far post ball here. Nope, went near post. Couldn't find a teammate or the net, however, and now will be a fever six kick. Six kick flicked on there by number 19, Amanda Pinkrot. through to Reed. Far post ball into Reed. Oh, oh, couldn't put it in Whitaker. Well done by that fever defense, not allowing that second goal going in, keeping it a one nothing game. The fever here could score a late equalizer before halftime. That would be absolutely huge for the team morale. You gotta get the ball down in their zone though. Corner kick coming in. Looking for Pryor Brown. Charge is spending way too much time down here. Way too much. But you know what? To be fair, they aren't scoring. And that may end up biting them later on in the game if the Fever are able to to arm a quick counterattack, put a quick goal or two up on the board. Not really scoring because of her. Really put some pressure on. Jillian Kexota playing a great game here. Gets ready to take the six kick. Gives it a ride about the halfway line. Collected by Pryor Brown. Plays it out wide looking for Whitaker. Oh, what, well done there. Not not allowing her to get the ball was number 15, Lauren Nolte. Into Bizarro. Bizarro's just been everywhere on the field today. I've seen her up top. I've seen her play on the right, play on the left. Good ball movement, just not getting down there. Yep. Their defense is uh, playing pretty well. Ayana Davis doing a good job of checking back. Good ball in across, collected by a fever keeper. Kaksoda, and I feel like I'm butchering that name, and I apologize.
ball played back to the center back. Center backs are used to being on the ball. They've been on the ball quite a lot in today's game. So is number 10, Kane. Intercepted here by Lindacker. Oh, plays it out wide. Number 16 goes for a shot and blocked. Kept in bounds. Oh, can she recover the ball? Nope. That was number 16, Rerdigan. Oh, good ball slipped in looking for Whitaker. There was an opportunity there. Yeah, yep. Whitaker on the ball. Finds number 24, Boyle. Boyle into Pryor Brown. Back to 20. That was a good ball. Barger. Again to Whitaker. Gets it back out wide. Oh, great sliding tackle there. Bizarro again with a great challenge. Charge throw in here. Done there by Nolte, winning the ball. Nolte drops it back to Durham, tries to clear it, unable to do so. But ball rolls away for a Fever Six kick. Joe, if we could just get this breeze here the whole time, that would be ideal. And there goes the halftime whistle. At halftime, your Philadelphia Fever finds themselves down one goal. A score of one nothing in favor of Chesapeake Charge. Goal scored by Pryor Brown. Packed house here, Ulysses. Yeah, we we have a uh, packed house here towards our experience for the last last home game of the season. Four thousand three hundred and twelve paid <laughs> watching <laughs> Fever Soccer. Some of the sights and sounds here at the Fever game. As the girls go in to the dressing room for halftime, I'm Ulysses Ronas signing off for now. We'll be back in the second half. Thank you.
Welcome back ladies and gentlemen here to Pittman, New Jersey. Total turf experience here as we get ready for the second half of soccer here. WPSL action between the, the Chesapeake Charge and the Philadelphia Fever. See from the from the uh, from the booth here. Ball kicked off here, the Chesapeake charge on the ball, Kane. Get in the middle, gets back, gets the ball back, Kane. Plays it out wide, number 23, Nadiuk. Number five, Dudley, cuts the ball back, brings it back out wide, drops it back to her defender, puts the ball in the box and cleared away. Lindacker looking for D. Giovanni here. Ball wide, Reed played over to number three, Craigie. Corner kick here for the charge. Corner kick here. Whipped in. Oh. Deflected away by a fever player for another Chesapeake charge corner. So it's going to be number five, Dudley, taking the kick. Again, the charge always seemed to have a second player there, awaiting a short corner option. Haven't seen them actually go to it yet. Right. Dudley whips the ball in. Pryor Brown to the near post. Bounces back out to Kane, collects the ball, plays it back out wide. Ball played in, but deflected, and now Reed, Reed looking to get the ball into the middle. Tracks it back. Ball, ball in the corner there, good tackle by the Fever defender. Away for another corner kick. Three corner kicks in relatively short succession here. Chesapeake Corner here, brought to you by EPX2. Ball played back to Craigie. Pryor Brown unleashes the shot well wide of the net for a Fever 6 kick. Kick there by keeper Jillian Keksuda. Five Dudley on the ball. Plays it into Kane. Back to Dudley. Looking for a target in the middle there. Oh, finds number 24 with the ball. Jillian Boyle. Dispossessed. Oh, long range effort there. Unsuccessful. Couldn't quite find the net. Battle there by num by Katie Williams. Fever Katie Williams wins the ball. Now it's Dina Tally. Katie. Pryor.
Briar Brown taking it down the end line. Steph Liddy looking to defend. Oh, blows Byer, goes down, and referee calls a PK. Again, not quite sure I agree with that call. Lucy's, I'm a big fan of that cloud right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Providing the players some, some much needed shade. Let's see who's it gonna be? It's gonna be number ten, Kane taking the PK. <laughs> Referee blows the whistle. And she converts. Tucks it away into the lower left corner for Chesapeake charge goal. Putting the charge in, in front, 2 0. Here, yeah, the chance of encouragement here at Total Turf for our Fever players. Number 19. Pencrot. Joe Gregory with the ball, plays it out wide to Liddy. Liddy looking for Di Giovanni, flicks on to Lindacker. Can't quite get there. Lindacker looking to put pressure, wins the ball. Oh, great sliding tackle there by number 19, Amanda Pencrot. 20, Barger with the ball now, looking for a through ball. Not quite, no one on the other end of that. Goes all the way back to the fever keeper. Keck Soto with the ball, gives it a punt. Nice little drop kick there. Di Giovanni putting pressure on the ball. Lindacker now. Bizarro out wide, putting pressure on Dudley. Dudley with the ball, nice cutback, looking for a teammate. Finds one, that Barger. Barger plays the ball in behind to number 24, Boyle. Boyle out wide to Pryor Brown. Bizarro doing a great job, good physical defending there. And unlucky there, Di Giovanni unluckily lost possession. Dudley with the throw in. Finds Kane. Lindacker putting pressure on from behind. Referee says it's a foul. I will give you that one, referee. The other one's not quite sure. That blown call brought to you by. Yeah. Free, asking for Fever players to step 10 yards back. Let's see who'll take the kick here. Oh, number 23 puts the ball over the net. It was Jess Nadiak. Couldn't quite get that ball to dip down. To be fair, I think the Fever keeper saw that shot the whole way. You got that score updated, right? Correct. 2 0 in favor of the charge here. Big kick. Flicked on by Hinkleman. Unfortunately, no one can get on the other end of that. Moore here to take the throw in. Moore looking for a teammate. Finds one. Ball is quickly dispossessed by the Fever. Oh, Di Giovanni tries to take Moore on 1v1. Good job by Hinkleman. Oh, couldn't quite get on the same page there. Number 21 on the ball now, Jen Gillette. Gillette all the way back across to 23, Nadiuk. Finds Pryor Brown looking for Dudley on the flick on. Couldn't quite get it off. Pryor Brown back on the ball, defended by number 13, Williams. Passed off to Bizarro, back to Williams. Hinkleman on the ball. It's a good job shaking that defender. 
Gets the ball out wide to number 15, Nolte. Nolte back to Gregory. Gregory into Williams. Williams out to Liddy. Liddy finds Pizarro, finds D. Giovanni trekking back to the ball. Well done by the Fever here, looking to establish some possession. Looking to control the tempo here. They have plenty of time to get back into this game. Oh, good 50-50 ball there. Bizarro ends up winning the ball. Here comes Lindacker. Good hustle there by Lindacker. Couldn't quite catch up to that ball. Joe Williams applying pressure now. Pizarro defending. Ball played out wide to Moore. Moore defended by Hinkleman. Well done by Hinkleman to win that ball. Plays it up the line. Good ball. Unfortunately, no one can get on the other end of that. Now, a fever look here to lock them in, keep them keep them locked in, pressed into this zone of the field. Moore with the throw in. Well done. Win by number 15. Nolte. Barger with the ball now. Oh, good through ball. Pr finds Pryor Brown. Dribbles into the box. 1v1 with the keeper. And tucks it away for number three. Goal scored by number... What number was she? Pryor Brown. Number 12, Alexis Pryor Brown. Second goal of the evening. Making it 3-0. In favor of the charge. Second half action here from Total Turf, brought to you by EPX2, the latest revolutionary year-round soccer training program developed by Matt Driver and Atlantic Soccer Factory. www.epx2, that's www.epx2 for more information. Check it out, folks. It really is revolutionary. Pryor Brown on the ball, out wide to more, defended by Hinkleman. Good defense here by Hinkleman. Well done by Hinkleman, not letting her get past her. Away for a corner kick here for the charge. Those of you watching at home, apologize, your view's obstructed. You have many fans out hugging the touchline. It's a hot one out here. Hold on, at least I'm going to tell all those people to move. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking for for some shade, some protection from the sun's powerful rays. And Total Turf needs to invest in some awnings. Well played out wide, charge. Bear with me, I apologize, can't see the number five, Dudley. Another corner kick here. Beaver looking to get a, uh, a counter attack out of here if they can. Katie Lindacker hanging about 10, 15 yards from, from the halfway line. Ball played out wide, 31 Reed. Whips a ball in. Can't keep it on the field. Fever six kick. We have some fever substitutions here. Coming off is Pizarro, Di Giovanni, and it looks like it was number 19, Pankrot. Let me just confirm. Correct, 19 Pankrot. And all, coming on is number 9 Thomas. Ayana Davis, number 18 there on the ball now. Oh, looking to switch the field there, unlucky. Oh, well done there. Now safe, kept in by Lindacker. Retrieved by Moore. Hinkleman gets the ball under control. Looking for Lindacker. 
throw in charge. Good hustle there by Lindecker. Number 17, Steph Liddy coming off. Moore ready to take the throw in. Ball thrown in. Oh, bounced over. Well done by Maddie Gregory. Moore with the throw in. Lindacker settles the ball. Unfortunately, loses it to Moore. Moore plays a good ball and back to the center back, number eight, Amira Walcott. Walcott finds her flank player, Pryor Brown, into Barger, has a shot, saved by Fever Keeper Jillian Caxito. Big punt. Ayana Davis looking for the ball. Lost sight of it there for a second. Almost a 50-50 ball there. The ball intercepted there by the Fever Morgan Durham. Or no, I'm sorry, that's Nolte. Fever throw in. Taken by Hinkleman, looking for a teammate. Long throw. Oh, unlucky there. Looking for Reardigan. Reardigan with the ball finds Williams. Williams, good out, good ball out to Lindacker. Good move by Lindacker. Oh. A little little extracurricular activity there going on between uh, Lindacker and Moore, the defender. Ball played out to Reardigan by Gregory. Dropped back to number 15, Lauren Nolte. Nolte looking for a teammate up the field. Ball stays in. Ayana Davis looking to pressure the ball. Thomas steps up, wins the 50-50 ball. Now it's Hinkleman. Hinkleman on, on, on the defense here. Charge back four here, very patient in their build up again. Something that we've seen from them all night. Into Barger. Oh, good ball in the, intercepted by Maddie Gregory. Ball flicked on now, Yana Davis here looking to take her on 1v1. Oh, good ball here, the foot race. Tell you what, Lindacker, Lindacker's winning that race every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Unfortunately, she just ran out of real estate there. Well put there, Ulysses. <laughs> Barger out to Pryor Brown. Oh, looking far post. Nobody there. Six kick for the Fever. There's a Philadelphia Fever logo there. Sideline banner. This portion of the match brought to you by Atlantic Soccer Factory, club neutral company dedicated to educating and training the next generation of American soccer players. Check us out at www.AtlanticSoccerFactory.com. That's www.AtlanticSoccerFactory.com. Moore ready to take the throw in. Looks down the flank. The charge player claiming it's their ball and the referee agrees. Moore on the ball here, looking for a teammate. Down the flank, good defending there by number 14, Morgan Durham.
Six get care for the fever. Settled down by Hinkleman. Hinkleman looking for a teammate here. Long ball out to Thomas. That's a good ball. Oh, Thomas. Thrifty moves out there. Karen Thomas now looking. Finds Ayana Davis. Here comes Barger. Barger finds Reed. Good defending there by number five, Dakota Sheehan. Forces the ball back. Thomas on the ball. Oh, good ball here. Oh, unlucky there. Runs into... Referee agrees. It is a foul. Foul one by number three, Katie Lindacker. Let's see if the rest of the referee signals a direct kick or an indirect kick here. Either way, I don't think Hinkleman is going to goal here. Looks like all of her teammates lined up on the right side, but it will be a direct kick. Oh, I was mistaken. She went for goal and nearly got it. Great hit there by Kara Hinkleman, free kick specialist. Unfortunately, couldn't get the ball down under the post. From my angle, everything looks like it goes in. <laughs> That's a great strike by Hinkleman. The Fever just need one play like that, just one goal to get them back in there. Williams here defending. Oh, it's a great tackle there by Williams. Good defending. You youngsters at home, take note. She didn't come lounging in. Waited for the offensive player to make the mistake. Oh, how did that ball get through? It got through to Reed. Unfortunately, she didn't look like she was ready for it herself. Collected by the Fever Keeper. Lays a big drop kick in. Ayana Davis chases the ball down all the way to the other keeper. Joe, I don't think the, uh, the Fever have really tested this goalkeeper much. Uh, they've had a few shots, but none really on frame that would really test to see if this keeper is in form or not. Now, every time that ball goes into the box, there's a defender on it. Nobody's had a clear shot. Sheehan, well done to win the ball. Hinkleman on it in the middle of the Williams. I think Hinkleman's last shot was the only thing that was really directly yeah. on goal. Yeah. Williams here being encouraged on by her teammates. Well done by Reardigan. Finds Lindacker. Lindacker putting pressure on her. Well done. Oh, that's that pure speed. Goes out of bounds for a six kick. Fever. Fever substitutions here. Looks like it's going to be Williams and Hinkleman coming off. Coming on. Looks like Pizarro is one of them. And you got a hurt player here for uh -oh. the charge. Get a charge player down. Seems to maybe have taken a knock there. Pizarro and Pencrot coming back into the field. Referee checks up with player here. She seems to be okay. That's, that's number 19, Melissa Lookingland. Out to the 51 by Pencrot. Oh, well, apologize. I was reared again. again with the defending there. Put the ball into the middle here to Ayana Davis. Oh, she had a bit of space. Here she goes. Oh, foul there by, Thank you, sir. by the Fever. That break in the action brought to you by Dan Sani. Sani, the good people at the Coca-Cola Company, keeping us hydrated here at Total that. Turf Experience.
the beauty of it. Look at that. Substitution for the Fever, Lindicker coming off, Di Giovanni coming back on to replace her. Good ball played in. Fortunately, no one there for the charge. Collected by the keeper here. Those sounds you hear are the sounds of a refreshment, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, baby. Because it beats a big cloud and a cold glass of water. There you go. Good ball played in by Thomas, unfortunately. Pizarro was not quite ready for it. Sheehan does a good job of defending. Ball comes back to Natiuk. Well done, Matty Gregory. Looks like we have a substitution coming off, number 21, Jen Gillette. And coming on, we shall see who is brought on to the field to replace her. build up here by the charge. Fever doing a good job at not letting them in behind the back line. Moore switched over is now on the left side. Can't quite get across in as that ball goes behind the net for a Fever six kick. That was a short rest for Lindacker. She comes right back on the field as does Steph Liddy in for Nolte. Oh, well done by Sheehan. Good defending there by Sheehan. 14 Morgan Durham now. Great defending. Oh, well done there. Oh, looks like that player is down. Oh, this does not look good. Referee beckons the uh, coach and Kim, the athletic trainer, on. Players holding her leg. Just like both of them, not quite sure which one it is that she's favoring. Seems to be her right leg is now up in the air. That left leg is now on the ground. She seems she seems to be in a great deal yeah, of pain. That's not good. She rolled it. it. It looked like it looked like it was a knee. From from this angle, it looked like it was a knee. Um, it looked like there was just a clean clean play on the ball, and then she just, you know, her momentum took her. Not really able to put any pressure on that right leg. But it is good to see her walking off, even if it is aided by her two coaches. We hope that she's all right. Do we know who that is? Didn't quite see a number on her. She walks off here. Let's see if we can get a peek at the back of her shirt. She may 
makes her way off the field now. Sure hopes that she makes a speedy recovery. Now back to the soccer action. Ball brought flicked on by Kane. Oh she in a little bit too much contact there. This Kane remains on the ground. Slowly, slowly gets back on her feet. Seems to be okay. Nothing too serious. So that's a yellow card for fever number five, Sheen. The same Dakota, Dakota Sheen. Listen, when the player goes down, does the clock stop? Yes. Well. It depends. The, the referee takes that into consideration, and then that time is added on at the end. Gotcha. It all depends on the severity of the injury. I would assume for the first injury, the clock was stopped. For the second one, I don't think it would have been. Sheehan here. Dakota Sheehan is subbed off. And in comes number 15, Lauren Nolte. Charge free kick here. About 45, 50 yards away. Plays it back to the center back, number eight. That's Amira Walcott. Walcott, look for Pryor Brown. Oh, looked like a foul throw from here, but good, good slide tackle there by the Fever defender, Pencrot. does a good job of clearing that ball out of danger. Let's see, look who just entered the building. Oh, look, there he, is. there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew Driver, owner of the Philadelphia Philadelphia Fever here, gracing us with his presence. Wave, wave to the fans at home, Matt. Our fever, fever game back into action. The throw-in. Matt will be signing his eight by elevens at the, uh, <laughs> the, the <head> table. Shots. <laughs> Joe, can we get uh, can we get Matt on here on the uh, absolutely on the air? Do we have another headset for him? Mute me. Let me. I'm, I'm too. Gotcha. You're mute. Yeah, you're good. Just slow down. One second here. Matt Driver will be joining us. Uh, can can you say a few words into the microphone to introduce yourself here? Uh, yeah, Matt Driver here. Thanks, uh, thanks for you guys to come out and watch the game tonight. It's a great game for a game. Absolutely. Great night for a game. Absolutely. So Matt Driver here, owner of the Philadelphia Fever. Uh, Matt, how do you think uh, the Fever season's gone so far this year? I think it's been absolutely tremendous. I mean, we all, last year we were in the WPSL Elite, and it was quite an expensive uh, situation. Uh, we gave some, I guess, some inexperienced coaches an opportunity to, um, you know, coach at that level, and um, you know, it, it wasn't the product that we wanted to put on, out on the field. To be fair, um, so obviously we we brought Seamus back to instead of running things from behind the scenes to running things out in front, and I think he's done an absolutely wonderful job. I would agree with you, Coach O'Connor. Recently named Temple head coach. Uh, after this game, we will be having a Philadelphia Fury game 
which Matt is the head coach of. Matt, can you talk to us a little bit about that season and how that's going? Yeah, that's been a good season so far. I mean, we've we've got the youngest team in the country right now. Uh, we're in the NEL Premier League, and um, the Philadelphia Fury, as you guys are aware, is an iconic brand and name. Um, and I launched that program uh, two years ago, and this is now our second season. The team that's playing tonight will be our reserve team for next year because next year we're looking to enter the American Professional Soccer League which will be at the, U the US uh, Division 3 level two levels below MLS and I'm hoping that many of these players that are currently playing on the reserves will come through the system and make it as professional players that's why we've gone with youth over experience. That's certainly exciting news Matt about the, the pro teams now you guys have as you said have the youngest team in the country now that's something that I've noticed has been consistent with all ASF affiliated teams. Is that something that you guys are committed to? No, our, our commitment is to the youth level and to take them and create opportunities for bigger and better. Um, I mean, in fact, uh, Sinime, um, I forgot Sinime's last Holiday. name. Um, Holiday. Yeah, yeah, Holiday. Um, he was recently recruited to the PDL from us after competing against the uh, Nor'easters. Mm -hmm and um, the Nor'easters reached out to me a day after that game was played and said, look, we're interested in your centre-back. Who is he? How old is he? And I said, he's a first-year freshman at Ryder. He's played for me for the last four years. They said, well, we would be interested in him coming and playing in the first team in the PDL. Oh, wow. And uh, so we released an email and told him he had to go because it was a better opportunity for him at this time. And that's where... We as an organization don't have an ego with uh, wins and losses, but rather than creating opportunities for the players to get to the next level. That's brilliant, Matt. That's what it's all about here. Um, now, a few uh, ASF-affiliated programs have been in the launch, one of them being EPX2, which, as I mentioned before, is a revolutionary new year-round training program. Would you care to elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, we're actually being approached by a lot of national organizations to use this for um, other sports as well, not just soccer. It was something that I came up with. And the biggest thing that parents um, and players don't get is the ability to be evaluated after every session or even once or twice during the season. So when we were putting together a year-round year, a year, a year program, I came up with a concept that would be neat if we would be able to to evaluate a kid on a handheld device device, and um, allow that kid to be evaluated then and there in real time. So we come up with a system called real time evaluation, which is really the secret sauce. So there's eight sections that we evaluate the player on. And over the course of every training session, immediately after that training session, the kid will be able to access his own personal web page. And pr uh, we actually call it a player portal and the kid can go on there and see how he's done. Um, that along with player analysis, diet nutrition, treatment of injuries. Uh, for the girls, you've got ACL issues. We have some dietary issues with some players right across the men and the female side. Uh, we have problems in youth players like bulimia, believe it or not. Um, so we can get the opportunity to address that with our other sponsors, our other spon uh, sorry, partners our other partners being Virtua, uh, who gave us access to some of the top health and uh, orthopedic guys in the country. Uh, that's brilliant, Matt. Sounds like it's something that hasn't really been done before. Uh, the, only, the only area where this has been done before has been in the academies like uh, Chelsea or Manchester United. These kids come in for the first eight weeks, I'll briefly explain it, it's a, a five, eight week cycle. The first eight weeks, the kids come in and they get all sorts of testing done. Um, everything from endurance, speed, agility, skill testing index. Um, we also go through um, soccer IQ testing through some of the activities that we run. So over that qu first eight weeks, we get a feel for where the player is at. And we use that as our, our ground base. Then immediately after that, the second eight weeks, we go into more specific position training. So the, the strikers, the middies, the defenders and the keepers are all train separately and together in a group um, it with players in the similar positions. And we go through basically the, their tools of the trade are what they're going to specialise in. 
the second, the third eight weeks, because of the time of the year, it's actually going to be pre-season. So we'll, we'll have done this, the second eight weeks indoor. Uh, the third week, or the third eight week cycle, we'll take them to, to, uh, to Virtua. And then we work with the soccer specialists and uh, fitness specialists, dietitians there, and put them through something that we haven't even done before at this level, which is position-specific pre-season preparation. So we came up with a program to get these kids. Oh, sorry, yeah, fever, fever here on the break. Out wide to Ayana Davis. Oh, unlucky. Can't the get kids there will get an opportunity to get themselves specifically fit for the position they play for the team that they play on. Then on the fourth, we, we bring them back in again. We do small group training, which is more defenders working with the strikers, middies working with the strikers, goalkeeper working with the defenders, etc. So we put them in small group training, but tactical training right, that's right. position specific. Mm -hmm. And then the final eight, the, the final eight week program, we go back to the testing again. We, we measure their soccer IQ, their endurance, their, their first step, their quickness, their speed. And we do an overall evaluation on them on the um, video analysis software that we have. Right. Um, so we've got a good, a good understanding of where the kid is. Mm -hmm. Now for the kids that are nine through 14, what they get an opportunity is to develop their whole game. And that's what they need to do. You know, they need to work on being able to have good balance, play, play the ball with both feet, have a good understanding of every position, but have a real good understanding of where they are. But when you get to 15 and on, high school and colleges and professional teams, we're looking for players that are specialists. So that's where they get an opportunity to see what, what's not my weaknesses, but what are my strengths? Right. And how do I make my strengths even better? Because then I go up against guys in a similar position, mm -hmm. but I need to be the best at what I do. Right, right. And not a generic player. And there's too many generic players here. So, so in other words, you're trying to say that there's, there's no real point in trying to teach a center forward how to defend when his job is to score goals. And that's what this EPX2 is looking to do, is identify those goal scorers and make them the best goal scorers that they can be. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a matter of yeah, they still have to be able to defend, but they've got to defend from the front, and that's completely different than defending from the back. Right, right. So, that's, no, that's good. Oh, we have a player down here, number twelve, Kara Hinkleman. But I just want to say that um, you know, Coach O'Connor this year and his staff, Ron D. Giovanni and Lucas Lawyer have done an amazing job with these girls. The good thing about these girls, they're all from South Jersey. Uh, and the one or two players that are not from South Jersey are, are in college in South Jersey. So, you know, we've got 35 players here, all local players and all local kids that have grew up in the area. And you can see with the crowd of people here, that the fan base that they've got. And this is something that we missed the boat on last year. We did not create an opportunity. There's one or two girls that were here last year. But we did not create an opportunity for the local kids. Right. And, and quite frankly, you know, that's where the turnaround has been. To get these kids emotionally connected to the fever and get the people out to watch their kids in their community playing against some of the best players in the country. And, and you can see, you know, it's, a, it's been a tough game for them today. Um, but you're looking at a team that played as the first game of the season and won 5-0. And um, it's been a lot closer today, obviously 3-0. We've had a couple of good opportunities in this game to have had a couple of goals, but alas, I mean, you're, let's say you're playing against some of the top players and some of the top teams here. Absolutely, man. Thank you for your, your No, comments. thank you. Appreciate it. Thank good you. job, guys, and um, stay for the next game. Absolutely, Matt. Good Take luck. Care. Thank, thank you, sir. Thanks. Matt Driver, everybody. Hinkleman seems to be okay. She walked off the field on her own power. She's obviously substituted in. All right, here comes Pryor Brown down the left flank. Cuts back, holding the ball in the corner. Fever throw in, says the referee. Hey, buddy. Welcome back, Joe. Can you hear us? Yeah. Matt totally destroyed my microphone. 
That's all right. All right, here we have uh, some live action here. Lindacker pressuring the ball, able to win the ball here. Oh, we have a 1v1. 1v1 here, 1v1. Oh, it's a great tackle there by number 21, Nudiak. Yeah, during that lengthy interview there, um, <laughs> we actually had a couple chances to score. Yeah, we did. We did. We had a couple. So uh, they're definitely applying pressure now, but. I think the clock is not their friend. No, not not at the moment. Hinkleman with a long throw, flicked on. Oh, no one, no one quite there. Flicked on. And Barger, good play there by Steph Liddy to intercept that ball. One thing back though. to Liddy. All right, just got word here that the men's game, the Philadelphia Fury game coming on right after. Been experiencing a bit of setback and will kick off at 7.30. Half an hour later than its original seven o'clock start. All good ball in here. Reed can't quite get it under control. I hope he doesn't think he's now part of the broadcast team. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Tryouts for last week. Broadcast camp starts in two <laughs> yeah, exactly. weeks. He can be a junior broadcaster for Telesports Live. Actually, that's, like, that's actual camp coming up in two weeks. We're starting a junior broadcaster camp, so if you're interested in calling some live sports, unlike other sports camps that put you in front of a computer screen and make you do play-by-play -play to the World Series in the uh, Super Bowl, we give you actual live sports. Live action. A live action. You can't get that anywhere else, can you, Joe? Nope. And it's going to be uh, led by Mike Wolverton, the former voice of the Atlantic City Surf. He's going to be here Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 9 to 12. Oh, free kick. Oh, that was close. Hankelman again loves those long-range free kick attempts. Solid left foot there out of Hankelman. Couldn't quite get the ball down. But just go to tollturf.net and click on events and then click on summer broadcasting camp and you can sign up. And we'd love you to have join the team. That'd be great. Hey, Ulysses, I know you're signed up already. Yeah. Oh yeah. Number I've registered a month ago. <laughs> Number one. Throw in here by the charge. Collected by Pryor Brown. Cutting in towards the goal here. Looking for a teammate. Plays a nice long ball across to number 19. Melissa looking for the looking land, I'm sorry. Whitaker. Whitaker with a shot. Blocked by Fever Defense. And cleared away. Referee says that is all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Philadelphia Fever fall to the Chesapeake Charge 3-0. Unfortunately, our girls were not able to find the back of the net today. However, great play all around by the girls. Spirited effort. Good show of sportsmanship here. And everyone shaking hands. Unlucky result here for the fever. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. The Philadelphia Fury game will be kicking off at about... Uh, we're looking at about a half an hour kickoff. Get them all warmed up. Not that it's going to take that long to get warmed no, up here. Absolutely not. Well, thank you for joining us here at the Total Turf Experience in Pittman, New Jersey. My name is Ulysses, signing off here from Pittman, New Jersey. Till next time. Joe? See that button that says stop, uh, stop recording? I do.